we have basically uh, you know three major missions: uh, graduate education. Uh, we have a doctoral specialization in environmental science and policy, uh, and the idea is to train students to uh, in their ability to work across different disciplines and use their science, link their science, use their science for policy. Okay. So that's the first piece. And the second mission uh, of ESPP is to uh, promote or facilitate research, uh, research collaboration across different disciplines. But again, here is we are, we are you know, seeing lots of societal challenges. Uh, and to address those challenges, a single discipline just doesn't work. Uh, we have to bring different researchers from different disciplines together and jointly answer those challenges. Now, MSU has a strong tradition in this. Um, this is one of the most interdisciplinary campus. Uh, and ESPP really fills that role. It's, that's, you know, that's, that actually shows that uh, the MSU is really serious about this. And that's, that's you know, a major job that we do. And the third one is basically you know, outreach and communications and to promote the MSU brand in environmental science and policy. And so ESPP has been in existence for several years. And now our graduate program is running uh, and it has attracted attention of really good students. Uh, we have had good placements of students as well. Uh, and we are you know, trying, trying our best to address their concerns to make the program as attractive to our students as possible. And research collaboration, we are in, uh, holding lots of activities uh, in different kinds of activities. Uh, we have workshops on specific themes of topics. Uh, and we have you know, other activities to bring new faculty members together. Uh, when they come to MSEU, we, uh, we have activities to bring them together and also to get them to know the existing research teams. Uh, so, so those are the, you know, I, I say that ESPP uh, as playing an increasingly important role in actually connecting those faculties together. And, and also, you know, uh, when there's like external call for grants, uh, we are trying our best to you know, to help those research teams to, you know, with the grant proposal, with the organization, with the logistics. I, I do have a set of criteria for sustainability. Uh, and uh, uh, one major thing is the welfare. Uh, so this is very kind of economics jargon. But we do have a way of measuring the welfare uh, um, of a society. Uh, and uh, so sustainability to us, from the discipline perspective, is really, you know, to make sure that um, the welfare is not going to be going down. We are not really you know, increasing our own well-being at the sacrifice of uh, future generations. Uh, but you know, more importantly, uh, I, I view sustainability as really a way of thinking about decisions. It's really a way of thinking about society. Uh, and this is where I think that has potentially could uh, this is like the common ground, I think, of many disciplines. I mean, if you, if you ask different people, ask 100 people, you may get 120 versions of sustainability. Uh, but a common theme, I think, is really the way to think about the trade-offs. Think about cost-benefits. Think about the trade-offs between now and the future. Think about trade-offs between economic development and environmental you know, ecosystems and environmental uh, uh, status. Uh, so I think it's really sustainability gives us a framework or forces us to think about those issues in a systematic way and also being open-minded about you know, the, the costs. And of many of the activities that seem to be really, really making a lot of sense. I mean, you have to really have a, a broad perspective. And so to me, I think having that notion of sustainability is, is critical. Uh, and it doesn't have to be you know, one way or the other. But as long as you have this perspective, that is you are moving in the right direction.